Hey, my people. How are y'all all doing? All my new subbies, all my old subbies. Hello. Hope everyone's doing well. If you like this look, this is the um, Reelers and Rockers from the Tartan Collection from MAC. This is what I come up with. My inspiration is a Scottish warrior. So if you like what you see, stay tuned. What up my people? So today I'll be showing the Tartan Collection from MAC, the Rockers and Reelers palette. Here we go. Um, you're going to take uh, MAC Rubenesque. And I'm using a Sonia Kashuk like small concealer brush. And that's Rubenesque. If you don't have that, like I said, the um, Revlon Va 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 Bloom, it has a shade in there that looks very similar. Now we are going to be taking this all the way to the brow. And rounding it out. I'll wipe that brush off or if you have another concealer brush pull it out. It's always good to have dual brushes because you never know when you need the same brush for something else and you can just pull that one on out and use it instead of having to stop and clean because I'm lazy like that. Um, now we're going to take black ground paint pot Have y'all noticed that like halfway through the paint pot, it kind of gets a little drier? Um, this is the first uh, paint pot I ever had was the black ground. Usually I use the paints and because uh, I use the paint untitled a lot. And we're just going to put it on that lid. So if y'all know how to like keep these from drying out. Please let me know, because I turn them upside down. I've heard that can keep them fresh. But for what you pay for these things, they better last to the very last drop. And these things don't fall off trees. And it's coming on around. Remember just to blend that outer edge. We're going to take the Rockers and Reelers palette or whatever colors you have that are similar. We are going to take the silver that is called Melt My Heart. And we are going to be taking a dome shaped brush like that. This is a Sonia Kashuk. And we're just going to take it load your brush and put it dead in the middle and go up now this is going to kind of look wacky for a moment because we're just going to place the color and then we're going to blend the color and let me say if you don't want fallout go on and put like some loose powder cheap loose powder that's what i do i just use cheap loose powder under my eyes um, but like I said, I didn't care about the fallout because I had an idea in my head. Now we're going to take a brush that's a little bit smaller, if I can find it. This is an Estee Lauder Dome brush, just like the other one, but it's clean. <laughs> yeah. And then we are going to take the penny color right here that is called Crown and Scepter. Or like I said, you could use Mythology. Whatever copper color you have. And right here in this inner tear duct, we're going to place that. We're just, remember, we're just placing right now. So it kind of looks like clown makeup. Okay, then we are going to place this color right here. It is, 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 is I believe it is Gaelic Gold. No, 
Family treasure. Family treasure. I like that color gold. It's like a deeper. Okay, and then we're going to put it right in Heather. Let's kind of bring it down. And then on that outer edge, let's bring the silver on around. I'm going to take a blending brush. This is a Sonia Kashuk. And you're just going to do the baby circles, baby circles, blend, 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 and blend some more. I'm just work it right here in this inner, I mean, like go up next to your nose and up to your brow. And placing that silver right there in the middle actually works as a highlight and makes the like ball of your eye appear larger and not to mention the fact that we're like doming it out take a little bit of that gold like the the brightest gold there and we're going to bring it around and under and out kind of Put it there and pull it and only go to about right there with it now i am loading up white rabbit on a rounded brush and we are gonna go around right i mean just do it right on the brow and around right around the edge around the perimeter of the eyeball or of the eyeshadow, I mean. Take a, a clean dome brush and take white rabbit or any flat white that you have and I'm gonna highlight right here above. Right where the arch is, down. I'm now going to waterline, tight line, and line around the eye with um, L'Oreal Extra Intense Liquid Eye Pencil curl lashes, use L'Oreal Double Extend Mascara, and put on um, fake lashes, which <sighs> I did surgery on these and kind of cut them shorter because I didn't want the look to get lost with big eyelashes. So I will do all of that and be right I've back. already gone on, like I said, and used the Estee Lauder Cream Caramel, um, like I contoured, honey. I look like I, I've laid out in the sun all day and got fried. But um, I'm going to take a small uh, blush brush and the Coastal Scents 26 Color Shadow Blush Combo Palette. Say that 20 times fast. And I'm going to be using this color right here at the very end, the burgundy. You know, I'm always using, like, really fair blushes and stuff. And I'm like, girl, get outside the box. Try something new. Okay. Smile. Okay. Right here on the apple. This, this is the apple. This part that wings out, like, goes out. This is not the apple. This is the apple. Okay. Now we're going on to lips, and I'm going to be using uh, Bonnie Bell's Cinnamon and Lip Balm. And over that, I'm going to be using, I don't know or remember the name. I should have labeled it when I took it out of the tube, but it is like a deep rust burgundy-ish, and... Y'all remember me getting cyber. It's like a purpley, deep. It's deep. I'm going to be using this rust color with my Estee Lauder lip brush.
I think this one is called Rocker Red. Uh, it may be discontinued, but it that just came to my mind. I'm now going to be using Max Cyber, that really dark, intense color, like that. And I'm going to go on the inner part of my lip. Most of the time, it goes from darker to lighter, but I'm doing the reverse. And always remember to get these inner parts, especially with red. And there are my lips. It looks like I've been eating blackberries in the woods. That's what I was living on when I was in the Scottish War. I'm Irish, y'all. I ain't Scottish. I love my Scottish people, though. Okay, so this is the look. I hope y'all like it. Please comment. Please comment subscribe, give me a thumb, and if you look down in my little videos there, you'll see a new contest. I need to make a little um, announcement from the National Broadcast System. When you watch the video, leave the comment what you think about the video leave it on my homepage comments. That way it'll be easier for me to keep up. I, I've done wrangled a few people that I thought, hey, they're in the contest and they're trying to leave a comment because I don't want anyone that is trying to enter to, to not be counted for. So if y'all would just please do that for me, that would be great. I need to give a shout out to two of my homegirls, Tanzoid and Ismaria. Uh, they are hosting a contest that actually ends the same time mine does on the 31st. It is um, spicy themed. Anything to do with the spicy, what you perceive to be spicy. Um, I believe it's just like pictures is all they want, no tutorials or anything like that. I will leave their links in the bottom bar. Also, huge shout out to my homegirl Saban from Ireland. I love you, girl. Y'all go check out Saban. I'm also going to leave her link in the bottom bar. She, her, um, her channel is called Let's Make Up. So, and I know a lot of y'all already know her, but she was awesome enough to give me a shout out on, uh, her Twitter. And that is awesome. You know, that we're supporting one another and just learning from one another. And that's great. That is how the world should be. So thank you so much, homegirl, and y'all have a wonderful day.